file color grading, we often use a lot from our favorite creator and colorist. To save our time to manipulate color of an image, only to end up with crushed shadow, clipped highlight and broken image. The thing is, LUT don't just affect color, they also mess with contrast. And that's where the thing can go wrong. Yeah, we all been there. And the problem is not end here. Sometime instead of enhancing your image, it introduces unwanted artifact like bending and distortion. That take away from your video quality, bending and color shift can make your footage look unpolished and immature. This kind of problem not visible on smaller screen, but easily detect on big one. The reason? It all comes down how your editing software process the LUT. In this video, I will share you how to properly apply a LUT in DaVinci Resolve using a more advanced interpolation method. This will help you achieve smoother color transition and minimize bending and also gonna share how to extract color of any LUT. Stick to the end of video because I will share my free cinematic LUT. Let's begin into DaVinci Resolve. LUT process typically relies on two interpolation techniques, trilinear interpolation and tetrahedral interpolation. If you are not familiar with this term, let me tell you in a short. Tetrahedral is more advanced and accurate method for precise color calculation. Provides smoother gradient and more accurate color representation, especially for cinematic and high quality color grading. Protect our footage from problems like clipping and breaking. Trilinear will fast, but provide low quality. On other hand, tetrahedral provide high quality render, but could be slow in playback. All right, let's first try trilinear interpolation. I will go to color management, trilinear interpolation, I will start by making harsh adjustment hue versus hue curve. Select the teal color, push it to an extreme until it completely break the footage. This will give us a strong visual reference to compare later. Now I will generate a 17 cube LUT from this node. But you might wondering why specifically a 17 cube LUT? Well, this is the smallest LUT resolution the Vinci Resolve can generate, meaning it holds the least amount of color information. When we apply this LUT again, it will be difficult for software to reconstruct the original harsh adjustment due to limited color data. Once the LUT is created, I will save it into designated folder and grab a still for comparison later. I will delete this node and move on to the next step. This time let's switch to tetrahedral interpolation and see how it handles the LUT differently. Enable tetrahedral interpolation. Then head over a LUT selection and navigate to the folder where I save the LUT. After refreshing the folder, I will apply the LUT to a new node. Even though this is a 17 cube LUT, meaning it holds very little color information. Something interesting happened. The gradient actually appears smoother compared to trilinear method. But maybe our eyes aren't fully picking up on the subtle difference. So to make it clear, let invert the color. This exaggerates the contrast and make the difference between trilinear versus tetrahedral interpolation much more obvious. The final takeaway, tetrahedral interpolation is a simple and superior method. It reconstructs color transition more accurately and handles extreme adjustment much better than trilinear method. If you are working with the LUTs, always make sure to enable the tetrahedral interpolation for best result.
alert or lookup table is not just a color preset it's a baked in mix of contrast and color and it manipulates things like split toning and hue shift give your footage a specific look LUT don't only affect color they also change contrast and that's where the thing can go wrong applying a LUT on top of your footage can mess up the contrast you already adjust making the thing look off so what if you could separate the color from a contrast and have full control over the both well in this part of the video i will show you how to extract just the color from a LUT so you can apply it cleanly to your footage while keeping full control over the contrast let's get into it the usually we apply alert is simple pick alert and slap into a node and here's the problem when you check the waveform you will notice something bad we are losing data in the shadow and why because the contrast baked in the alert override the contrast you already adjust into your footage But don't worry, here are better way to apply alert without destroying the shadow of your footage. First, grab a still for quick before and after comparison. Now delete the alert node, create a new node, then add a parallel node. Change the composite mode of the parallel node to color. Now apply the LUT to this new node and just like that check the waveform again. Damn, the shadow detail is still intact. But we applied the LUT color without its contrast affecting the image. This method gave you way more control over your final look while keep your footage clean and properly exposed. Now we take another footage to check the versatility of this method. Just like before, first we simply put a LUT on a node. Grab a still for comparison. Reset a node. Add layer mixture node Now apply the LUT Change the composite mode of the parallel node to color That's how we can easily extract the color from a LUT the color is too punchy for our footage, so I'm gonna decrease the key output to half. Now our footage is looking way better than before. This method gave you way more control over your final look, while keep your footage clean and properly exposed. If you find this video informative, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe our channel for more color grading session. And if you want to download this LUT, you can download from description.